Patterson's throw. Cut out, though, by Connor Newton. Now McLean. McLean hits it. Oh, and Newton's on to the rebound. And St Byron are ahead. 28 minutes played. Connor Newton gets his fifth goal of the season. McLean's shot palmed out by Jamie McDonald. And there was Newton to hammer home. Nicholson spreads it wide for Walker. Good pace from Jamie Walker. And palmed out by Dillo to Carrick. Similar in nature to Newton's goal that puts the mirror ahead. The goalkeeper couldn't hold the shot. He couldn't palm it to safety. And Carrick was there with a simple tap in. Barber. Good ball into the middle for Chris Boyd. Boyd strikes and Kilmarnock are ahead. His 22nd goal of the season. And none have been more important than that. What a finish. Arkant. Good flick for Slew. He's running now. Jordan Slew. The wait is over. Jordan Slew at long last has his first goal for Ross County. They're ahead. Midway through the first half. Jordan Slew marking his 20th appearance for the club with his first goal. Carey with the free kick. Oh, Arkan's completely free. And Ross County go two up. Johan Arkan, three minutes into the second half. His first goal in 10 games. Elliot's done well. Got away from Cooper. Lyle Taylor. What a good header that is. Partick Thistle right back in it. Elliot's cross. But a really fine header by Lyle Taylor. Higginbotham through. Taylor, nice touch. Moncour! And Thistle are level. George Moncour with his first goal for the club. The man on loan from West Ham. Really well set up by Lyle Taylor. Carey. Now DeLeu, nice turn, got away from Lyle Taylor. And Melvin DeLeu puts Ross County back in front. Thistle were only level for four minutes. Deflected off Cregan on its way through. Well, a goal now for Motherwell would steal second spot. It's Lasley deep into stoppage time. Up goes Sutton, no foul given, Kerr. And Reed is there to knock it in. The goal is given. Hesitation for Craig Reed, who scores his first ever goal in senior football. And what a moment for Motherwell, who have stolen second spot right at the death. There's barely any time left to play. Just look what it means to the Motherwell players. Stuart McCall cuts a calm figure, but inside his heart will be racing. Now Sutton went up to challenge Langfield and that's what the Aberdeen players are complaining about. Should that have been a foul? Well, Sutton really cleared the Aberdeen goalkeeper out of play. Fraser Kerr almost netted. It was blocked by Reynolds on the line, but then in came Craig Reid. Shinny. Mackay, the willing runner. Back to Graham Shinney. Doran to try the shot. Saved. Christie's there, though, to head in his second goal in just over a week. Ryan Christie, the local lad, puts Inverness Caledonian Thistle in front against St. Johnson just before the hour mark. Doran's shot palmed out by Manus, who perhaps could have punched it to safety rather than straight out into the path of Ryan Christie. Williams hurtling on it. Good pace he's showing. Cleared only as far as Tanzi. Oh, great finish by Greg Tanzi. It will be a victory for Inverness. A rare one for John Hughes to celebrate at home. But this was a great finish by Tanzi. And Inverness will 
hang on to fifth place in the table with a 2-0 victory over sixth place St. Johnson. Commons peeling wide to the right-hand side. Faced by Sean Dillon, cutting back onto the right foot. Good ball in by Commons. It's Anthony Stokes, and at long last, the deadlock is broken. And it's the Irishman, Anthony Stokes, with his 21st of the season. And Giorgio Samaras, in what may be his final game for Celtic, has got the second goal. Calmly sending Czerzniak the wrong way. Gunning. Now Armstrong. Oh, nicely done by Stuart Armstrong. This is Mackay Stephen. Oh, it's found its way in. Fraser Forster beaten. And it's an own goal by the unfortunate Philip Twardzik. Watson. Oh, he slips. Stokes releasing Commons, who will get there first. And make it 3-1. Chris Commons with a fitting end to his season. That takes him on to 32 for the campaign.